Hi kids, it's me Seven. Welcome to the fourth episode of our series called The Parables of Jesus. Now, how many of you guys have at least one of these at home? How would you feel if your baseball went over the fence on the backyard of your neighbor and it's a little angry neighbor that wouldn't give it back? Would that make you upset? Would you want your baseball back? Or at least um, a few bucks to get a new one? Now, let me ask you this. Suppose you're playing with baseball and this baseball goes not over a fence but through a window. How would you feel? More important, how would you want the owner of the window, or should I say the owner of the house attached to that window, to feel? Now, we all feel hurt when someone wrongs or owes us. But when we feel like we need justice, we need to remember how much God has forgiven us. Jesus paid the price for all of our sins on the cross. Every sin we have committed or ever will commit. Now, we have been forgiven for, not for breaking a window, but breaking commandments over and over and over. When we remember how much we have been forgiven, how can we not forgive others? It hurts when we've been wrong. It helps when someone says they're sorry, but even if they never say sorry, we must forgive because God forgave all of our wrongs.
Do you have any idea how much it costs to buy a car? How much do you think a car costs? How much for, say, a new family car? How much for a sports car? How much for a simply used car? Let the kids give some answers, then show them some ads from the local paper or local car dealers so they can see how much a car can cost. Cars are expensive, aren't they? Even used cars can be pricey. How many of you here have money to walk into a car lot today and buy a new car? Most adults can't afford to pay cash for a car either, new or old. Adults have monthly bills to pay in addition to big expensive in expenses like cars. So what do we do? We go into debt. We apply for loans where the bank gives us the money to buy the car and we pay that money back. Plus extra money called interest. You end up paying a lot more than the sticker price for the car because interest can be expensive. But loans and debts allow us to buy things like cars we otherwise can't afford. How much do you think it costs to buy a house? Is that more expensive than a car? Houses are way expensive than cars, and almost everyone has to go into debt for a house. It can take 20 to 30 years to pay for a house. And if you make your payments every month, you'll eventually get there. But what happens if you can't make the house payment? What happens when you can't make the monthly payments on the sweet Corvette? Do you think the bank, the bank that gave you the money is going to let you keep the car on the house? No! If you can't pay the debt, you'll lose whatever it was you went into debt to buy. And good luck trying to get more debt to buy another one. Jesus used the idea of debt as the basis for today's parable. This is a story about money. But it is much more than that. It's about learning to forgive as we have been forgiven. Stories of the Bible The Parable of the Unforgiving Servant This is Jesus hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, That's what my heavenly father will do to you 
if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. There are three parts of this parable. In the first part, we see a man with a great deal of debt. Let's say just for fun, he bought a car, but he can't pay back the man who gave him the money. Instead of taking the car or taking away the man's freedom, the bank forgives his debt. He doesn't have to make any more payments. He is home free. In the second part, the man who just had a car loan forgiven goes to see a friend who borrowed a few dollars to buy a burrito at Taco Bell. The man can't pay back the few dollars, so the first man calls the cops and has his friends thrown in jail. The bank, uh, I mean, the bank finds out about the burrito, and boy, is this guy in trouble. They want the car back, and they want the man to pay a penalty, and his whole family are tossed in jail. He could not find it in his heart to forgive a small debt, so he paid a steep price for his home. Yes, this is a story about money, but it's not really about money. It's about our sin. God forgave us for all of our sins when Jesus died on the cross. If we want God to forgive us, we need to have a forgiven heart. We need to forgive other people and no matter how big or small their depths, as He forgives us. Our memory verse for the week is found in Mark chapter 4, verse 9. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears should listen. Hanging out with parents, make this week's lesson real. Do you have monthly credit card debt? A car loan? A mortgage? Talk, talk to your kids about these debts. Tell them how much they are and how much you pay monthly and how long it will take to pay them off. Don't forget to tell them what happens if you can't pay. Ask your kids why it's important for us to forgive the debts of others and what debt God has forgiven. Hi kids, it's me, Seven again. For this week's trivia, we'll have, um, who did it? Now, it's simple. I'll just ask you a question and you have to tell me who did it. We'll have five questions. Okay, kids? Yep! Now, question number one. Who forgave his servant of the huge debt in this story? Yes, it's the king. Now, question number two. Who had a man thrown in jail over a very small debt? Are you sure? Well, yes, it's the servant. Now, question number three. Who lost his freedom because he wasn't forgiving or he was unforgiving? Hmm. Oh, yes, it's a servant. Now, question number four. Who sinned? I mean, who sins that God forgive? Yes, it's ours. Now, last question. We should forgive other people because blank died for our sins. Hmm, this is an easy question. And you're correct, it's Jesus. That's all for this week's trivia. Don't forget, comment down below um, how many of you got this question right. Okay? That's all for this week's trivia. Bye! Here's a craft idea for you. Print the included slips of paper that say, Whenever you have to forgive someone, remember that God has forgiven you more. Let each child color their slip of paper and then have them put it in a plastic bag along with a graham cracker, a marshmallow, and a mini chocolate bar to take home to help them remember the message of this lesson. Forgiveness is not easy. Do you agree? Of course! It's certainly not as easy as saying that you're sorry to someone. But sorry is easy by comparison. We know we've done wrong. We feel guilt for our actions and we want the other person to know we are sorry we hurt them. Things are a little different when you're on the other side. When you've, hurt, when you've been hurt, you don't want to forgive. You want that person to pay. 
Like the unforgiving servant, you want to grab the person who owes you by the shirt and shake them and say, Where's my burrito money? How can any of us get upset over such small debts? When we consider that Jesus died for every sin we have done or will do, how can we hold back forgiveness toward anyone? Maybe you'll never trust that person again. Maybe the friendship is going to take time to heal. Maybe that person will have to do something to make up for their actions. We still need to forgive with all our hearts. The parable of the unforgiving servant is a powerful reminder of how much God forgives us. It cautions, it cautions us not with, to withhold our forgiveness because of as much as we think we're owed, we owe God so much more than we could ever repay. If there's someone you need to forgive this week, ask God to help you to do it. Okay? Ask Him to the, for the courage to forgive and thank Him for all that He has done. Forgiven in your heart. Let's close with a simple prayer. Dear God, thank you for forgiving us. Please help us to forgive others. In Jesus' name, Amen. What a wonderful lesson we have this week. And we have already learned a third parable from Jesus. And it's a good thing to know that we should forgive others as well, just like how God had forgiven us. Right, kids? So again, thank you for sitting with us and learning more about Jesus. So, I'm so excited for more episodes next Sunday. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our Theo F Kids channel for more updates. Okay, see you. Have a blessed week. Goodbye!